Now. This ball is hammered. Deep center field. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 22 of Stadium Spotlight. This is your show. We'll look at different and unique stadiums in the show. 22, and today we are at the grounds here in Gary, Indiana. And this stadium was created by Arc Mage Kimosh. All the stadium information will be in the description as always, so you can check it out for yourself. If you enjoyed the series and you want more, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have your own stadium you want me to look at, make sure to put your all on ID and the name of the stadium in the comments below, and I'll be sure to check it out. And with that, let's get on with the tour. So this stadium seats 6,000 people. Down the left field line, it is 330. To dead center field, it is 400, with 420 being the furthest distance in right center field. And then down the right field line, it is 340. And like always, let's take a look at behind home plate. So pretty unique area surrounding home plate. So down the left field line, we have a warehouse with a couple of seats poking out from the side of the stadium. And you can see the escalators heading up to the seats. And then right next to foul territory, we have a row of wooden seats. Behind home plate, we have two sections of seats. One right behind the screen, which is kind of like a club area. And then on the concourse above it, we have another section of seats. And then down the right field line, we have two decks of seats with the second deck hanging a little bit over the first deck, as you can see. And then in foul territory, down the right field line, we have a steel mill with a couple trees and light fixtures surrounding this building. So down the right field line, right next to the fence, we have a row of advertisements. And then above the advertisements, we have a slanted roof. Beyond that roof, we have another building with some advertisements and a scoreboard on top of that. And then beyond the scoreboard, we have three buildings, as you can see, with some standing room on top so people on the building can watch the game. Oh, now this one's high and deep, way back there, on its way, gone. The Rockets one to right, and they close the gap. It's a so Destiny Field is using the frame bricks batter design. Behind that, we have some buildings, as you can see, some apartment buildings, some trees surrounding it, some light fixtures, and then a huge clock tower deep beyond the batter design. Rip to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. Is 23rd of the year, and they're chipping away. It's 12-5. To left center field, we have the section of seats that connects to this warehouse. And then on each side of it, we have a light fixture. Now a blast to left center, way back there, on its way, out of here. He muscles that one out the opposite way, and it gives them the lead in the third. And then to left field, we have the biggest section of seats in the stadium. We have one section up near the field, and then at the top of this section, we have another section that's hanging over the second deck, as you can see. And on each side of the section, we have a staircase tower leading up to the seats. And then beyond the section, we have a building with a bunch of home run party decks on top of it, as you can see. Oh, now this one's high and deep, way back there, on its way, gone! Number 15 on the year, it's 4-1. So that's pretty much it for the inside of the stadium, so let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of the stadium. I love the detail that he put on the outside of the stadium. It kind of looks like that the stadium was built in the middle of this town. But it had to put a street surrounding the stadium, some parking spots around as well, and some trees to give it more of a, you know, outdoor feel as well. This is what it looks like from above home plate. This is what it looks like from above center field. And here is a bird's eye view. In 
And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series and you want more, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have your own stadium you want me to look at, make sure to put your online ID and the name of the stadium in the comments below. And I'll be sure to check it out. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace. He'll circle the bases his 17th of the year. And they add a now. This ball is hammered deep center field. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. He'll touch them all. His 16th homer of the year.